Hello, I'm Bill Webb, aka Bill Indiana, and today I'm going to do an unboxing for Now or Never. This is a game that I recently received. It's the third game in the RZM trilogy, and I'm going to open it up today. So if you're curious to see what's inside the box, stay tuned. So I pre-ordered Now or Never after having a chance to play it online when it was first in prototype form about a year ago, and that's how I actually met Bryce and Allison from Better Half Review, so wearing the shirt today in honor of that memory. And this game is one I, I really enjoy Red Raven games, and I've played Above and Below, I have Near and Far, and I'm getting ready to try to get into that game as well. And when I played the online prototype version of Now or Never, I knew this one would be one that I'd really enjoy. And so here's what we can see on the back of the box. And this is the pre-order edition, which come with, comes with the metal coins. I think pretty much everything else though is just the regular retail version. It's just this one bonus for pre-order, I believe. So it says, return to the land of Arzium. Compete to rebuild your ancestral village and guide the rest of the villagers on their journey home. And then it's got a bunch here. I won't read all of that, but you can see it is the third in the trilogy we see above and below, near and far down here. It's for one to four players, 14 and up, 45 minutes per player. All right, so let's check out what's inside the box. And we'll also take a look at the coins. Let's go ahead and take a look at the coins and we can uh, move those out of the way. Whoa. <laughs> Looks like one of the bags was already open. Oh, it's got a hole in it. Okay. So we've got uh, some nice blue coins there. We can hold those up so you can see a little more detail. And then we've got these silver coins here, a few of those. And then we've got these gold coins. These are nice and hefty. All right, so those are the gold, or sorry, the uh, metal coins that came with the pre-order. We'll just slide those off the side here and bag them up later. And now let's check and see what's inside this box. That's a good noise. <laughs> All right, so look, what do we have here? Four Teller Games, Ryan Lockett Now or Never, fully voice acted audio narration amplifier adventure. Oh. I have Four Teller for Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, so, and uh, also will have it for Isoparian Guard when that comes through. All right, uh, looks like some kind of a campaign sheet here. And then we've got the rule book. I remember reading the rule book online and um, having had the opportunity to play test it. I was able to give some feedback on things that I thought were clear or could be made more clear. So, but it has been about a year. So I will have to reread this again and refresh my memory on how it plays. I uh, played a, several hundred games since then. So for me, at least, the more games I play, uh, kind of the the more the lines blur and the harder it is for me to remember the details on games that I played a long time ago. If I didn't play them a lot. And I just played it that one time. I do remember really enjoying it, though. And it was great to get to know. Bryce and Allison through that as well. We've been able to stay touch and stay in touch since then. All right, so there's, uh, and I think she said our names are in here somewhere. Oh, there we are. Allison Parkland, Bryce Parkland, Bill Webb. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All right, and then we got icons and reminders on the back. And I don't know if, if you noticed, I didn't mention it, but uh, you can see in here there's solo play information, which is new. I don't believe solo was available in Near and Far or Above and Below. And we've also got story mode in this game again. Um, so you can play just kind of a one-off campaign or a one-off game, or you can play through more of a campaign style with story mode. All right, we got a bunch of baggies here. Ooh, chapter books. Yeah, this was something that wasn't part of the game when we were playing it online. We were just playing in that sort of one-off uh, version. Uh, there's probably going to be some spoiler stuff in here, so I'm not going to show much detail, but the art on the covers I can reveal. So chapter one there, we can see. Chapter two with its own art. Chapter three. Chapter four. Ooh, chapter five, like the volcano there. And chapter six. All right. Now we've got... A baggie full of individual components here. I think these are the components for the different characters. For, oh, maybe not. Looks like uh, we've got some... I forget what all the different resources are. It looks almost like little arrowheads or something here. Like I said, it's been a while, so I'm going to have to go back and read the rules again. 
And then here we've got, these might be for the individual players here, we'll see. This looks like it would be for the individual players. We've got these, more than these hearts. There we go. And then in this one, we've got, these might be like marking where the different creatures are that we come into contact with. I, again, it's been too long. Uh, we're definitely excited to get back into this one. And my wife and I actually decided this year for our board game challenge, we decided we really wanted to get those campaign legacy style games we have on the shelf played. Because there's just too many of them that we've played a game or two and then put it on the shelf and don't get back to. So um, I know that in a, in one way you could say that's not really, this Arzium trilogy doesn't really fit that necessarily. Um, but we decided we would go ahead and make our 10 by 10 board game challenge all campaign legacy style games. And we did include this trilogy um, and trying to get above and below back to the table and learn near and far and now or never. So these some kind of gems or crystals there, I think. All right, and then we've got some standy bases. We've got some four-sided dice. Looks like there's four of them here. And then we've got our cards. We can crack those open a little bit. Here are the player boards. So we've got the four characters. Namal or Namal. <laughs> Halia. Looks like they all have the same art on the back. Marklin. And Zeke or Zyke. All right. Put that down there so it slide off. All right, and then here we have the different parts of the board. I think it's different. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe this is part of the campaign mode. I'm not sure. So it's two-sided, different art on the back and on the front. But there's one for each player, it looks like. Tracking something there. And then here we've got the gear store and market, with the season tracker. Looks like this might be for, depending on the number of players or something. It's a little different on both sides. Or might be story versus campaign mode. And then here is the main board where you go exploring. And so it's a really long one. The Crystal Meteorite, Hermit's Hut, Tower of Miners, The Monument, Undergarden, Forest of Faces. Flying Casino, City of Spirits, Snail Caves, Istrica, and Wailing Caverns. And it is two-sided, so it looks like there's kind of a night version here. <laughs> really gorgeous art, as always. Yeah, hallmark of Red Raven games, for sure. And we've got some punch boards here. Lots of the characters standees and that you'll, I, I guess I don't know if those would be standees, those would be the different uh, specialists maybe if I remember right. There's also these down here, smaller ones. Yeah, just been too long for me to really remember the details. Let's see, I think I'm going to have to tip this up to get all those out. There's a bunch of them. All right, we see more characters here in the backs and more here. All right, yeah, His, it's a very uh, unique style of art, very recognizable style of art. If you've played near and far, or above and below, you can see the style coming through for sure, and even some familiar characters, it looks like. Some other tiles here, locations, buildings. And there we go. So there you have it. That is what comes in the Now or Never box for this most recent Red Raven game. I'm really looking forward to getting this one to the table. I know some people have received it earlier, especially in different parts of the world. So if you've already played this game, um, either online like I did a long time ago in an early prototype version, or if you've played it more recently with the actual physical board game and can give me some information down below, give me some thoughts of what you think about the game, I'd love to read that in the comments. 
If you have questions about the game, obviously it's been so long since I played that prototype version that I'm going to need to get this one back to the table. But once I do, I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have as well. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be terrific if you give it a thumbs up. And I would really love it if you'd choose to subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching. This is Bill Indiana, signing off. Huh.